up everybody. Give me one second. One second. Yeah, that's gonna go kind of. Oh, not that button, not that button, but that button. Not that button either. Oh my god. Okay, no, we got that. Okay. Okay. Oh wow. Camera's like way over there. There we go. Um running a little late. Um, took a really long shower, felt really good, and I had to run to the store to go get a snack because I was really wanting it, so. Hey man, at least I'm dressed, right? Okay. Okay, and then one more thing. Alright, close that chat with Kitty. Got up. The hair is still kind of wet, so I did not have a time to dry it, so I'm probably going to suffer for that later. That's okay. Okay. We'll do. Minimize that. Oh, yep, Star Days came up. Okay. So, the thing I wanted to do, make sure I don't have like anything that's gonna like mess up my face here. <sighs> I need to take, okay, wait, who do I have? All right, we're going to have to get rid of something here. Hold on. Equipment, inventory. I'm going to get rid of my second Sevagoth. Seva, not Sevo, Seva. Okay, it's a level zero. Next up is to plan is to claim Hildren Prime. Finally got her done. So we're gonna to start tonight off with leveling her up while doing some other stuff. <sighs> I just feel like I've been like running for the past three hours. A, B, C, D. <laughs> All right, I'm kind of digging like her core colors, but I might like, make a little bit darker there because that white is bright. Oh yeah, they added that. Let's find the black and white. We can do that. Um, actually, do we have a darker? Ooh, or this one? Actually, we'll go with that. Yeah, that way they're still in the blues. Um, is it not? It is the excess. Not all of them, though. Okay, so this one we're going to have to change. What's up, Iso? Something that goes with that. I mean, we could do... Since it has a reflective look to it, I always feel like you can get away with, like, browns in this. Actually, I kind of like that. It's like a nice pale, sickly color. I like that. What is the last one? 
Is it this one? It is this one. Okay. That was Katir. Ah, fuck it. We'll just go with a. Uh, let's. Yeah. Something like that. Go with that. Very muted colors, and I am here for it. What is our energy color? I don't even know. It's kind of nice. Mm, I don't know what's that. It's like a purpley color. Anyway. Yes. Oh, God. Right, let me chug this down. I need to go get some coffee because I actually woke up with a caffeine withdrawal headache today, and that was fun! Not really. That sucked balls. I do that, but I just want to clear the notifications. Thank you. Oh, I hate having to get back in, like, so I reset my phone so everything is, like, back to, like, the original stuff, and I'm, like, having to find things to tweak, and I hate the sounds. I hate the sound notifications. System, notifications, media, just need a ringtone, and I just have to, like, upload my ringtone to it. Like, holy crap. about this. Alright, we got electricity, so we'll do... We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Oh shit, let's put that down here. Um, critical chance is 5%. Critical multiplier is 1.5%. Not the greatest, I'm gonna be honest. But what we can do is we could also add in a lethal torrent. Could could put this on. That's gonna give us a decent amount. So well, not exactly decent, but it's better than it was. And in my opinion, in my opinion, I know other people have their own preferences, but I would rather do the critical chance instead of the critical multiplier. I don't remember if this is like a shotgun. Because if it's a shotgun, we can totally do. I think it's a pistol. We'll do that. That's a good start. Let's go with that. Upgrade Hildren herself. Alright, so. Her abilities charge and launch devastating bolts of fire. Village a percentage of shields. This is the one that gets subsumed. Village a percentage of shields and armor of nearby enemies to replenish Hildren's own shields and over shields. Also removes set. Status effects from Hildred and her allies, which is a pretty fucking good thing. Haven. Create a shield aura run allies. Enemies that approach shielded allies will take damage. Mm. So, that one's a damage. That one's a damage. I honestly don't remember much about Hildred. Take, take the skies and rain bale fire. That's the one that you see the whoosh. Down the enemy. That's also a damage. Okay, so. Hmm. Could do this one. Let's see where we are at with that, first of all. Um. Could do bigger. 
I don't want to cut out the strength so overextend it can sit out this time. these new mods in here. Alright, let's... I have to worry about armor with this one, so... Could do the stretch. Slap on the flow. Efficiency, so it'd be nice. I also don't know what to stick in here. Let's see what we got with these new ones. Um, armor, ability, strength. Teleport to the target within 10 meters on attack. That's armor, health, killing an enemy with the heavy attack reduces enemy accuracy. I don't remember if I actually use a lot of that with her, though. Oh, thank you. It was the fastest I think I've ever gotten dressed before. Oh, let's try that one. Alright, Archons, or not Archons, Arcanes, usual. The usual, we got energize and grace. We'll just kind of see how it goes from there. This is true, this is true, but I also don't know what else to stick in there. That's the thing. Redirection, we can do that. Wait, is it done here? Do we have a max redirection? Hold on. No, I do not, so yeah, we'll go with that. Crap. Seven left. What do I have? Let's go into the seventh category. Do they? Did I literally I leveled Hildren up and then I just kinda sat her off to the side. I have no idea. It's been a couple of couple of years. I honestly do not. I am, I am not a Hildren main, so. Could do strength since she does have those. What else do we have? Arcane Barrage. I have none of those. Is that something that's a Hildren? Probably. Probably a Hildren only mod? Maybe? Let's go shopping. I don't think I have. I think I have all of these. So if it didn't pop up, then it's not from this one. It's an arcane. Oh, not no. They're arcane. The little things. The two little things. Oh my god. All right. Um. I'll take that one off. Do I have barrage? I do not. It goes from Arcane Awakening to Arcane Barrier to Arcane Blade Charger. Oh, Barrier. Alright. Let's try it. What does this one do? Oh, nice. Okay. Um, so let's go back to finding something we can slap into that seven, that seven slot.
curse of projection if it's a thing. Um, we could just do one of the auger things. Yeah, our arcane barriers over here. Shield mods, all right. Max shield capacity. This is a Hildred one. Village augment. Enemies affected by Haven will be set ablaze for 200 heat damage and restore 50 additional shields. To do that one. Uh, but that one requires that. Mm, we could take flow off. Put this in here. Let's find normal flow. All the day on that. Another one. On shield damage? Let me do that one. Shield regen. Not a mod. Actually, I mean, could do fortitude. Um, I'm going to do electricity thing apparently. So, um. Take that one off. Put this one on. You are absolutely right. You are absolutely right. Okay. Um. What else do we have? We got five. What else do we have? Yeah, a lot of the Mars thing is to, like teleporting all over the place. Okay. Deflection. You have this one. Like it's a basic, but. Since it's a prime, do that one. Um, what do we have that we can put in here? Just an idea for this. Let's see if that matches that polarity. Um, apparently not. I don't have a lot of these maxed out, so. Mm. Just so oddly specific. So oddly specific. Damn. We're about to change that stupid polarity on that one. That'd be sad. Oh well. We come back to that one. Alright, so we are going to level this one up because Squirrel gave me his spare ribbon of this, so we're gonna go find that one. So just shields? Just shields. All shields. All shields. Like shields for days. <laughs> we'll have to come back to that one. Let's go, let's let's just go. Let's go do stuff. And we'll come back. Be a lot of shield mods that I'm going to have to upgrade then. Um, let's 
go to not that not that going the wrong way Oh, that's a shame tablet. I'm sorry that map stopped working. The fuck are you gonna go tablet? Now yeah, let's be rusty as shit and figure out how we're doing this. shot a mirage thing okay this mirage is killing everybody okay sure as I said I I don't do Hildren. <laughs> All I know is I want to get her maxed out now because, you know, she's got her part. Jesus Christ. Oh, we'll just, we'll just sit here. Seriously, this mirage is just this mirage is just murdering everybody. Um, that is a good question. It's this one. You know, I think I should actually have that as a command in my bot, but I don't think I do anymore. Doesn't matter anyway since I'm re revising that. We'll just do buttons. Alright, there's one. Hey! Are people going to go through it or are they not going to go through it? towards it. Oh, I love this. Our button. Take a look at that. Let's try out of this. I mean, people usually go for four rounds, so... is bad today. Okay, maybe just with that. Nice. 
Yeah, I really like this bow. Oh no, I went. I thought I could get to that block, but I guess not. Never really tried. Uh, now I got the hoverbot. Okay, here we go. Wee. Remember this one. Where did Hildren come from? She came from um, Arc Valis, right? I Remember, mean, it's where we had to go farm her parts. It's been a while. Take a look. Let's see what we have. Ooh, I have never seen that primed mod ever. Holy crap. That's a new one. It's gonna be a Baroque to your thing. That's gotta be a Baroque and Terra. It's like the only place I've ever seen primed mods come from. Alright, let's apply them. Let's go. Um, equipments, arsenal. That's the only one I don't have. Jesus, yeah. Mm. Alright. Yeah, some of these I'm gonna have to definitely rank up to. Huh. Most of these I actually never really... I mean, because I really never really worried about shields, honestly, before. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to probably dump a couple of formas into her so I can get these things maxed out. Mostly maxed out. Ah, Let's get that redirection up. I've got that on anybody else anyway, so. Oh, my endo is still kind of hurting. Never mind, I lied. My shields suck. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get there. I'll get there. I mean, all of these are basics, so. Um. Mods. Wait, 42. No. Actually, uh, this, I mean, it was like we can probably get that one maxed out too, but. Um, let's do this one. Got like, what, four? I have that one on somebody. What? Yeah, no, shields are definitely weak. I mean, and then until recently they started, like, kind of fixing it, so. Hey man, we're up to the 5,000s, so I think once I get her up there, I might have to dump a formal or two into this. Well, that should be better, so. Alright, let's go back and do some more.
собой. Give me, give me a second, be right back. Okay, I had to get coffee. Coffee's done. Just give me a second. Let me have my moment. Oh dear God. Okay. All right. So upgrade Aura for more mod capacity. I mean, yeah. Thought it was maxed out. <laughs> Alright, we're still at the two, but that's okay. So, what was that one? I'm gonna write this one down. Primed it short footed. I'm gonna have to go find that one from Borrow. I'm looking for that sticky note. Oh my god. Alright, so primed, sure footed. If that was something that was recently from him, I'm gonna kick myself. Because I wanna be honest, I am really bad at getting stopping by Borrow Kateer's sales. Let's be honest. Actually. Just sure footed. I mean, if there's a prime, that means there's. 
Where do we get this from? To a circuit. But not through this. Nah, maybe that's why. It's not a steel path drop? Huh. That's an interesting one. So it looks like I'm going to have to go do some normal circuits in Duviri. God damn. Go back and finish. Finish the lightness. <laughs> so let's see here. Last weekend I did the video for Warframe, the, the Void Cascade. This weekend is going to be probably another Gilbert Suvid. I'm honestly delaying doing the whole entire Meet the Warframes because I don't, I don't think I'm ready for that one yet. I want to do it, but at the same time, I mean, for example, I don't know how to play Hildren, but I mean, obviously I'd have to do my research for that. I don't know. I don't know. Oh shit. It's a fun sound effect. Wait, I got dailies? I mean, besides like the sorties and the, the other ones. Dude, I haven't done a sortie in like two years. That's bad. Oh wait, are you talking about Nightwave? I don't even know what Nightwave has for dailies. Oh, I'm just leveling a pilgrim. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, Stitch? Oh, now that actually the you two are here, I have a question slash favor to ask. Glad that my camera does not go that low. Anyway. There is something that I need assistance with. And finding people to actually want to do this is already hard enough, but I need, I need assistance with, it's a particular isolation vault on Deimos. I don't remember how to get to them. Hellraiser was the one who had mentioned that, you know, those things do exist. It's the isolation. Well, not, not, not today, not today, not today. This is for research purposes, for a guide that I want to do. But, um, it's the ones, I don't remember how you get them. It's where, like, you can get, like, the... What is it called? It's the Hellman's Juggernaut thing that you, you have to, like, escort it while it 
consumes something and then it explodes. It's a harder difficulty of a isolation vault or something like that. Yeah, okay, so you remember them too, because at first I thought Hellraiser was, you know, like lying through his teeth, but I mean, I haven't really met, known him to do that, but I was just like, what the hell are you talking about? And then that's when he told me of that particular mission, I was like, oh shit, you're right. Tier 3 Iso Vaults? Are those the ones that give you those? <laughs> oh no, we found ice ISO's vaults. What's up, Orion? But yeah, no, it's... I do know that those, people don't do those. People just, they don't do them at all anymore. I don't think. And I don't want to be doing those solo by myself for reasons. <laughs> yeah. It's probably going to be something that would be like a before my stream time. So depending on where you hail from, like afternoon or something like that, or on the weekends. But yeah, that was something I was just like, no oh man, you're fucking talking, you're talking to your ass. In Cali? Okay. But yeah, like, I remember, like, daughter is, like, sitting there and talking to you, like, hey, I have this. I just need you to go and, like, follow it around while it, like, eats spores or something like that. And then, like, after three of them, it explodes, or you have to fight it or something? I don't remember. True. <laughs> that doesn't sound creepy at all, Squirrel. But yeah. Okay. It was just one of those things, because I started, like, looking into that, and I'm like, oh, I remember that they were... There's something that can go south in a hurry. Yeah, I don't remember how to get them to spawn either, so... Sitch says that... It says that it's a, it's a tier 3. It might be after you do the base one, and then you go and talk to... Was it Mom? And then she gives you more to do? I don't remember. It wasn't there originally. This is something that they had added to the game afterwards. This is Hoverbot 101 here. But that was actually supposed to be like the first Warframe mission in a five minutes or less video for the year. Clearly, this is now February 1st. I have not done it. And it's not just those. It's like there's one that you have to, like, activate something? Yeah, no, it's been, it's been at least a year for me. So... 
I think they're called arcane isolation bolts. I have it written next to it on the on the little digiplanner thing. Oh, I came in here alone. Yeah, that would be great. Dude, that ribbon that you gave me for this bow, hands fucking down, I swirl, 10 out of 10. Um, it was more of like a mental note the next time that I saw at least two people that I know that we've done Warframe things together, that I don't think would mind. I would ask Hellraiser, but he uninstalled the game and has walked away from it forever and ever, so... Reach all the way over there? Oh, it does. Please. Not you. Look at the little maggot go. It was so happy. watering. So I found out that one of the problems that I had was um, I needed to change the blankets. I don't think it's been that long, but apparently it has. So now I don't wake up with a stuffy nose. Or a runny nose, I should say. Um, Just went over this with what was his name? Forgiveness. Um, Arsenal, because I don't know how to do Hildren. Shield Disruption. Apparently I need a another mod that goes over here that is called, since I've never seen, Sure-Footed, Primed Sure-Footed. I've never seen that mod. I've never seen Sure-Footed ever in my life, so apparently that is the one that should go there. Oh. Which apparently drops on normal steel cir uh, normal circuit on Duveri. And I don't do that one. So. <laughs> oh shit, it's a login reward? Crap. So it's not a borrow one. When is it a login reward? Fuck. 
don't even know what day this is. <laughs> it's gonna be either... I don't know. Yeah, it says Prime. It's available at day 400, 600, and 900. Until chosen as a milestone reward. I have Primed Vigor, I have Primed Shred, and I have Primed Fury. So I have those three. I don't have this one. So I don't know exactly when the next one is supposed to be after day 900 because... Shield of Disruption? I think I only have one and I think that's the one that's equipped. Never mind, I have one other one. <laughs> I don't know where you get those from. I'm not willing to part with that extra one though because if I don't have something, I can always go back. Like if I can't use the maximum, at least I'll have the minimum one. All right, let's go back to this. I like ticker. All right, let's go finish this up. I know. That's that's my one rule is unless it's a primed thing. Don't don't get rid of your your non modded upgraded and yeah. Because there would be times when I'm messing around with things and then it's like, oh, that would be great if I could do this one and then crap, I don't have it, and then I might forget what it is. So This map, okay. Don't go through the hole again. Circle around. Yeah, but I don't even have that one, so. From what it says on the wiki, that is something that you have to get from, um... <coughs> from normal circuit in Dubiri. Which explains why I probably never don't have one, because I don't do normal circuit. Still, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna part with 
with that one of mine that I have. I can see where it drops and maybe we can go from there. Ah, shit. Ugh! Coming up. So what, shield disruption? It's a Nightwave Cred Offering. That's good to know. Lucky helicopter. That's what it sounds like. shields. Maybe I had a little too much fun in that. There we go. three years off. <laughs> slide and shoot, slide and shoot. There we go. Wait a minute. No, no, they don't. I was like, wait a minute, they just pick him up and then they die? No. Not that lucky. That guy was hiding. Oh, hell no. Ooh. 
Yeah. I'm starting to think that maybe they haven't had it in the Nightwave offerings for a while. I don't know. I mean, I've somehow picked up two, so. Yeah, one and four goes together because, like, that's how you shoot while you're hovering. That one I figured out. So we're two and three. I don't know. I'll have to figure that one out. But yeah, no, I can definitely tell I tell you that one and four go together. Oh hey, the bow is max rank. My eye is leaking so bad right now. So I think I just need a dust in here. Maybe I need to dust. Just dust all of the things. We do that this weekend. I like this. I like this mod, Squirrel. I like this mod a lot. Yeah, I can see that I would probably change. I was wondering about that. I might change one of them because one and four. One and four are nice. Two and three... I don't know, maybe if you're going to be going in the long haul for something? Maybe. Got to mod another one here. Oh, Jesus. Alright, we can do... I don't want to really get rid of that one, but... Okay, yeah, no, I can see why it would be number two then. Because, I mean, I'm going to be honest, at this point in the game, I mean, enemy shield stripping is nice, but you can do that with other things. It doesn't have to be an ability. Can I get more out of this one? Take this one off. Gonna take shred off. Because I mean, it's that was just a fire rate. I mean, the punch there was nice, but I think we can do better. I'm not quite sure. Also, if I'm gonna be doing this, yeah. Um. Okay. So let's increase this one a little bit more.
And what else do we have that we can do? Something that would have to be eight. Heavy Caliper is a good contender. Thinking, I'm thinking something else though. I'm not quite sure what it would be. I mean, the punch there was nice. Can't I can't deny. I'm not doing a blast. Critical chance is not bad. Critical multiplier isn't bad either. The status is sixty six percent. It's still going to fucking do some shit, so... No, you don't. The only thing... So the only thing that you want to use Heavy Caliber for would be Lens or the Brahma because of how they are. This, you could technically probably make it a little bit more like that when you're just kind of like aim and shoot something. That's why I'm like, it could be a good contender, but I'd have to change a little bit. Because, I mean, at that point, yeah. I mean, we could do this. I can't do this. What else sense do I have? I have my Lignite Force. There's Thermite Rounds, but I don't want to add in another one. Yeah, and that's the thing. Nah, I'm not... I don't think I'm gonna go with that idea. I mean, we could still technically do just, like, a shred. Just for the additional punch through, which is from zero to that, but... Uh, I don't know. Oh. Use with caution. <laughs> Kinda wanna use that, okay? Thunderbolts. Mm. I mean, that one you're kind of reducing the fire rates. I mean, that one could work with this because you're increasing the fire rates. But you would also be increasing the critical chance. Although the critical chance is at 50% and I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna be honest, if you're sitting at 50% critical chance, I think you're a-okay. I mean, at that point, you're just gonna be start min-maxing. Min What's up, Esteban? <sighs> like that um, Warframe video that I had posted in the Warframe channel of that guy that was with a dual toxicist build. He was running that, doing a shit ton of damage, melting through level 9,999 enemies. But it's a very, very specific build for the dual tax assist. It's a very specific build for the revenants. That's the only way that you're getting those things. So <clears throat> yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, could do viral and radiation. Why the fuck not? <laughs> um, I'm going to dump a forma on this one. We can do a malignant force. What? That's, that's this one. Just a sheer shits and giggles. I mean, what's the worst that happens? I have to change the formal later. Radiant reload. Or radiated reload. I don't know. Wait, what? I 
I mean, that's a total of 10,000. You get the radiation, you get the viral, you're chewing through something somewhere, so. All right, let's see what happens. Let's, let's see what happens. For shits and giggles and the lols. Last one. Maybe, maybe we'll 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 look at it. But the points the point strike is giving you a hundred and fifty or giving me a hundred and fifty percent chance, critical chance or critical yeah critical chance. While while the critical delay is not going to give me that such that that high of a number. I don't know. I mean, at this point, it's just gonna be like playing around with stuff, seeing what fits, seeing what doesn't fit. Maybe. I don't know, like, seriously, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to look around. Test it. See what I like, see what I don't. Oh, come on. Ugh! I mean, that's what I usually do. Dear God, that's what I do with the companions. Holy crap. Seriously, that guide took me forever to do. And that's with me, I don't even post those, the builds that I put on there, just trying to find what works and what doesn't. Oh, dear God. Which, by the way, I really need to get back to finishing that up. I really, really do. I'm missing one to two hounds and still the Crescent Vulpophila. I think those are the only companions that I have not unlocked yet. In case you're wondering what I'm talking about, hold on. It's this one. Those are... That took me like almost a solid month to do. The one that I had the hardest time trying to figure out was Death Cube. And that's what I found out that the chest up just sucks. Gonna have that rant again.
Now, mind you, mind you, that guide has not also has not been updated with the changes that they have done thus far. Mostly because I want to see what else they're going to do before I do a complete rework of that. Because we've only had the companions, what are we, one or two things in? They're not completely done with it. So... But I can definitely tell you if you have a Warframe that has energy issues, like Volt or Saren, the Death Cube can be your friend. Two Exodus to kill, and I am done with that. Which, surprisingly, there's a lot of people who actually don't. Which, to me, I think is actually pretty good, because that means that there's a lot of people who are still, you know, finding the game, they're discovering it, they're coming to play. That's, that's good. <laughs> I mean, and that's also kind of what the what my guides are aiming to do is for those who are new to the game or returning to the game after a really long duration of time for a break. I mean, that's, that's what I aim to do, because I'm going to be honest, this game is a steep-ass fucking learning curve. I love it the same. It's almost done. Yeah, and not, not a lot of people, like Kitty, for example, Kitty actually has an account with Warframe, she actually made it to, I don't know what mastery ranking, she got stuck in something that they are actually going to be addressing sometime this year, from what I recall, so that you don't get stuck doing Orb Valis as such a young at such a young age, basically, we'll go with that. Because that's honestly one of the reasons why Kitty doesn't play this anymore. Is that she got stuck in that. But Death Cube, Death Cube helps because I think it's what, after every 10, 
10 enemies that are that it kills it drops an energy orb which I'm gonna be honest stick stick on a, a gun that's going to give you those kills and you're going to have a lot of energy orbs dropping I mean, I was using that for my Saren for the longest time because Saren just... Saren, Saren's hungry. <laughs> Let's go with that. Saren is a very hungry word for him for energy. Yeah, as I said, the companion guide, I need to update it, but not until they finish the full, the full thing, the free, full rework. The thing that I do want- oh wow, my voice just cracked. The thing that I do want to test out, now that we have a little bit more of some higher level areas, is testing out the... The Predacites. Predacites? I think it's called the Predacites. There's the Vizier, there's the, the Medjay, there's... Different things like that because when you create those, you can give them certain things that assist you in fighting. Like they can help you with robotics or with other things. And that's something that's a, it's definitely a little bit more late game. I haven't really seen a need for them yet, per se. But there's probably going to be something I can probably figure out now that we've got some more things. Oh, I'm getting some red numbers. I was getting red numbers. There's a red number. And I still need to get the, the prime to shade. I am missing two parts of that one. So yeah, I've got I got some work to do. Oh come on, I'm I'm more than fifty percent of the way through. Oh my god, I'm seriously I'm gonna hit MR thirty this year. I'm actually excited. Let's see the card offerings. Does it ha do they have it this time? We do not. But I might grab a couple of these because I don't have them. This is how I end up getting these. <laughs> I'm like, oh look, I don't have this. At some point in time, I'm not. I'm going to have all of these things. Why do I have a Vob and Neuroptic Spoofer? What else do we have? Deploy a Spectre. I can do that. Yeah. I'm I'm digging this one. I'm digging this one a lot. Oh shit, the bot's not up. Hold on. Yeah, 
Dude, I have so many projects going on at once. So at some point in this this year, I've actually started this. Alright, this this is my bot. I created it myself. Right? That's a lot of code. I'm I'm needing to redo this because the switch the switch statement isn't isn't working anymore. Like it is, but it isn't. It likes to go to sleep half the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to because I'm literally just running it through the program. Right? I'm doing the debug basically. So this is up and running. It's running. So I did have it originally as an EXE, and then I started making some changes. Obviously I never got around to making it as an EXE again. So what I'm going to do is this. This is a Raspberry Pi. This is currently, and I showed this into Esteban yesterday. Um, this currently has the updated Foundry BTT that we're going to be doing gaming on um, in, the, in the group. Um, Squirrel, we are doing the Vampire the Masquerade, but Hellraiser did tell me that when he played it with his group of friends, they didn't really do a lot of the political stuff. So, would you still be interested if we kind of like axed that shit? Because, yeah, that would be fun. Let me know. Either way, this is what the Foundry's BTT is going to be living on next. Because it's the updated version. The one that we have currently is... Back here, it's like a little red dot. Anyway, so this is also going to be where the bot lives. Um, the bot of Chez. That's going to live here. And then I also want to do a Discord bot. And basically, they're just going to be running. Well, Twitch bot, no. But Discord bot's going to be running off of this. So that's the plan. I need to reprogram. I don't know if it's going to be in C Sharp, but I like C Sharp. C sharp is a very pretty language. I really like it. Um, if you know, you know. <laughs> but that might involve a couple of little extra tweaks just to make it work on the Raspberry Pi or a C sharp thing. I don't know. But the other day, I couldn't remember how to connect remotely to this thing in Visual Studio Code. So process has begun. We'll go with that. Do I have anything else that needs to be leveled? I do know that I need to take a bunch of weapons in with me, solo mission, equipped. That's the Archon and the Archon things. You have to think about it? Okay. I'm gonna be honest, since I only did the LARPing session of it, I don't know what goes into the tabletop version. Um, I was gonna to talk to Hellraiser a little bit more about it. I also need to watch a couple of YouTube videos because, as I said, I don't know how a tabletop version of the game is run. Also, it's gonna be homebrew, so... I don't know. So, and then the group that I did the LARP session with, they took that shit really seriously, so... Yeah. We'll see, we'll see what comes up. Not that makes it close. To level, what's not primary. I do have a primary or two that I still need to level up, but... Oh no, not the weapon slots. The tough. I don't know if that's a primary or a second. I hope it's a, it's a secondary. Okay. Figured it would be. <laughs> this group, this group was. This group. 
dressed up the parts, they had the book in hand, every single time that there was a question about it, they flipped to the page. No, 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 no. Like, they took that really seriously. <laughs> like, can't go wrong with Multishop. Yeah, we'll do the Hornet damage. I don't think I'm gonna really keep this. Like, use this, so... Just do the basics and call it a day. There's... We have Blast. We have Innate Blast. So we can do... It's gonna be Heat and Cold, right? So let's do Heat. And Cold. There we go. Ta-da. I'm gonna be honest, I'm I'm pretty relaxed on, on rules if you haven't gotten that by now. <laughs> so, but yeah, I don't think like as I said, I, since I've never actually played the tabletop version of it, I really need to see what goes into it. All I know is that the dice mechanics are apparently really simple. All you need is not that one. One of these. Ten sided dice. That's all you really need. They don't have anything else, so it's a very, very easy thing. But yeah. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. Um, we have the session, our final path. I'm thinking it's going to be the final Pathfinder session this weekend. And then it's going to take... Oh yeah, no, I know it's not one. It's, it's a lot. But with the Foundry, you can put in how many you need to roll. Many details. Oh, also, Hellraiser, you got your power back. Welcome back. <laughs> but yeah, it's... I have homework to do. I have homework to do. I just got done finishing up uh, a thing for Esteban. I know that I need to do a 3D print quote for Darth. Um... We still have to figure out why we can't get Hellraiser this thing to print. It's all dick, though. Um, I have to do that video this weekend. But yeah. After we finish up the Pathfinder, it's probably going to be a couple of weeks while I do my homework to figure out what we need, what I need to do. I should say, no, what we, what I need to do in order to do that. So... Yeah, that's 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 a thing. Let's go see Ticker real quick. And as I said, like the last time that I did anything vampy related for this was. Two thousand four, so like twenty years ago. It's been a while. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be honest. Like I really don't have much memory of anything besides how we did the combat. Everybody that dressed up as a dapper fucking vampy. Lurking and skulking in the dark shadows of the rooms of the building that we rented out. Oh my god. Edgelords. Bunch of fucking edgelords. I loved it. It was great. Because we also had pizza. I still have the Ignis Wraith, that's like one of the best fucking flamethrowers I've ever seen in the game, honestly. Ooh. 
Oh my god, look at this one right here. Oh my god, that's adorable. I don't have shelter dead bombs. Oh my god. I think that's gonna be like the only one I get. I have the kissy wizzy in the dead. Um. Yes, yes I do. No, um, I do. I'll have to get them taken care of. Yeah. Ouch. I like that girl a lot. I like the way he talks. Well, you got like 29 days of that, so... Okay, so let's nice. Let's go somewhere. Where am I thinking? I can do some brother cracking. Hold up. Alright, so as of right now, the ones I'm still working on trying to get to Wisp Prime, Baruch Prime, Lexper Prime, Shade Prime, and Corvass Prime. Those are five primes that I am currently aiming to get because they are like recently ish. <sighs> so I guess we can go do some relic cracking for these for a little bit. I also need to do. I gotta figure out where these are. I don't remember. I wrote them down. I don't remember where they are. I need to get Magus Melt, Eternal Onslaught, and Eternal Eradicate. Oh, Alright, so let's go to that corner of the Orbiter. <clears throat> Pretty sure I don't have. Oh, I do. Okay. Yeah, I thought I'd like to bring up on this. Okay. So we have that one. So we can definitely do that. What about the Rook? My Rook Prime, what? Yeah, that's not looking good. I still don't have a lot of those. I might end up having to just purchase that one. Prime what? A barrel? Oh fuck. Okay. Oh, okay. That's that's looking promising, actually. Okay, so I might end up focusing on that one. So that's the barrel, and then you also need the receiver. <sighs> okay. I only need one of each of those, right? Like, I know some of them require two. I think it's like the bow prime. Yeah. I still haven't even finished this one. I'm missing one ornament. <laughs> But anyway, um, I still need to build this. I have my 10 meter gymnast though. So, okay, so let's go here. Expert, yeah, just one in one. Thank God. Crap. Were they look, what relics were they? <laughs> Expert Prime Barrel is a Neo. Okay, we'll do the Neos. And and that. Okay, so it's Neos and Axes. So let me write these down. So we'll have to come back here. Okay. 
I love the fact that that these things go outside. Not that way. This way. The little the little clinging drones. Yeah, no, they totally come out here. I'm like, what the hell are they doing? Why? I don't know, but it's funny as shit. Yeah, there it goes. Go, little room, go. <laughs> anyway. Ah, <sighs> right, fissures. What do we have? We've got Neo Crossfire Exterminate. You easily do this one. Expert. No, we'll just do this one. Not feeling. I mean, am I going to get? Yeah. Okay. I'm currently five thousand something because I don't have everything maxed out. Mod wise. Oh, I forgot to form a her. God damn it. We'll do it after this. Oh, this was not that. Okay. I think everybody's already at things. Data integrity verified. Retrieval was successful. You bought shield disruption? Alright. Did you pay a lot for it? Because I hope you didn't. <laughs> That's not bad. Prime. Yeah, no, that's it's not bad. Excellent work, Tenno. Let's go form a her. Thank you. 
not sound great. Close enough. All right. Um. Mods, god damn it. Um, we'll do it. We'll, we'll stick it. Yeah, we'll stick it one of these. Okay. Oh shit, we can also upgrade. Oh damn. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. We have 33 to play with. Let's go. Let's finish this one up. Yeah, I'm gonna take it off the mesh. I'm sorry. What? We need to start fresh on plot. Yeah, no, I totally forgot that was a thing. It's been a while since I've gotten a prime that you slap a potato in it, okay? Actually, Mag and Revenant, I'm gonna have to go check to see if those two have a potato in them. Whoa. Oh. 7,708 shields. Efficiency is 115%. I wonder if I can stick something up here. I, I hate having that. Um... We could stick power... No... Yeah, we could. Just for now. Oh, that's what she moves. All right, we'll just stay powered in there since I don't have anything to put in that one. Okay. Lady Plushy, how are you doing? I haven't even really... Squirrel? I went and I bought that mod. It was kind of expensive. <laughs> I think I paid 60 plat for that. I seriously did not know that that mod existed. Until you are just like, do you have this? And I was like, what? Yeah, I'm not quite sure if I want to use it or not. That's the thing. Ah, that's fine. That way you still have yours. You see, you seem to like yours. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> but holy crap, this thing is nasty. Anyway, but now I need to figure out. <sighs> do something with this one. I think I can do. But as I said earlier, I don't know how they're doing the companion reworks, so, so... Because the way that I'm seeing it... Hold on. The way that I'm seeing it... So... Duplex Bond. Companion will clone itself each time you expend 100 energy up to 3 clones. Clones live 20 seconds and cannot use abilities. Their kills have a 33% chance of dropping energy orbs. Here's the thing. I'm putting this on the Helmuth Charger, which automatically has maggots that drop from it. So... I haven't even really looked to see if those clones drop the maggots. I don't know.
Because how that mod reads, then that means that the other ones would be dropping megas as well. I don't know. That's that's where I'm like, I need to figure this out. But I haven't even, like, I've been using it. Sometimes I do see the clones popping and I'm like, yeah. And that's about as far as that goes. <laughs> what would you like, Stitch? Besides that one mod. And apparently you bought. What mods are you missing? Probably a lot, because apparently I'm still missing a shit ton of mods. Oh, I was like, what the fuck? I thought it was a real jerk. Gonna have to tell me what you want, bro. Oh, those are untradeable. I can give you half of a death cube prime. Oh, these are tradable? What? Apparently I'm missing a left gauntlet. You want some imprints of some some fuzzy companions? Mr. Fuzzy's a big fucker. He's a Sunika. Although I don't think if you take those imprints, Vampire Smita, where I'm. I have I have one imprint. I think I can only get one imprint. Do you want it? Pretty sure you can only get one imprint from the vampire ones. Let's find out. Baskos. That's a Basco. Okay. I thought so too, but I think that one, I think they only allow you to have one because theoretically you're supposed to have your Kavats take it out and have it get infected. I'm checking, I'm checking, hold on. I don't know. 
All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me cancel this trade. Let me cancel this trade. Because now I want to go check out. Hold on. Um, leave Dojo. Hold on, hold on. Let me go check. Let me go check. Because now I'm now I'm like, mm, is that or is that not? Equipment, arsenal. Actually, no. Wait, arsenal. Give me back cat, because that was the name I gave it. <laughs> It says two out of three skins left for it. No available imprints. Oh, wait a minute. Is that what it's. Okay. I just ran out of imprints. This one. Um, I'm not gonna be able to rush those. Okay, tell you what. Remind me, Stitch, and we will trade later. Unless you want something else, but yeah, no, I have to get an imprint of that thing. Because I only have the one. So that's the whole entire thing. I honestly thought it was just because of that. I guess I finally ran out of like the 50,000 50, imprints that I had available. I went crazy with it. So I only have two of three scans left for her though, so. What else? What else? I have a crap ton of pets. Although I don't think size really translates. That's the only problem because I'm gonna be honest. Here, this one. Mr. Floof is like one of the bigger Kubros I've ever seen. He's just a big boy. <laughs> He's a big, big boy. Mr. Floof and Mr. Fuzz. <clears throat> it is a Smita Vesca. I think. No. Wait, are you saying you want a Smita and a Vasca blueprint? Because I can hook you up with those. Like one and one? I only have two Smitas. That's that's an Ardaza. But I think I've got a couple of other prints too from ones that I got rid of. This is my locker opener. And this is the one that I take everywhere. I'm sure the blueprints tell me what they are too. Yeah, you can breed the two. I haven't done it yet. Who is a big doggo? As I said, I fell off of the, the bandwagon for the uh, the companions a while back. <laughs> I do know that my basket came from an Ardaza. Yeah. I need to go find another sweet to go get bitten though. That's the thing. Although I've seen people talking about breeding the two.
It's also a pain in the ass to get that thing bitten. Like this one says, I want a Samita, but only have one Samita imprint. I do have one basket imprint that came from an Ardaza that was bit. If combined, what are my chances of getting a Samita? I just want to char use charm when farming. I don't care anything else. If you use a one-to-one, -one or a one- yeah, one-to-one, -one, it'll be random as far as I recall. It's random on what it'll pick. You get a Samita with a Vasca fur. Basically, you're kind of splicing. I know, I know, but I have to go find another speed. I don't want to get the two that I have now bitten, so I have to go get another one. Inventory. It's a Medjay Predacite, Chesakubro, a Vasca Kavat, Smita Kavat, Smita, Ardaza, Ardaza, Kuras, Vasca, Vasca, Ardaza, Sunika, Vasca. I have a shit ton of Vasca Kubros. Okay, so if you're wondering. Of why I have so many of these, it's because I was wanting to do the whole entire... There's a, there's a subculture in Warframe, I don't know if it's still there, but people would basically sell you prints of some really, really pretty ones. We have Lady Percy Purr with a Smita. So yeah, I have a crap ton of these things. And I'm really bad with names, so I just kind of like, yeah. Mr. Fuzzy. I have four imprints of Mr. Blue. Holy shit. Maybe it's these things. Maybe it's the, the vocal files that you only get one from. I don't know. I swear to God, you only got an imprint from somebody. Like one imprint from one. Yeah, these, I have one of the purple one or the red one, one of the Vulpophila. I don't seem to have more than that of these guys. Hm. Anywho. Alright, leaving no joke. is how that breeding we can do one ah. oh yeah no is that one all right select imprint other ones that I don't have. Wait, space cat, which was this one? Oh, Jesus. Sure, let's see what happens. Those are the ugly ones anyway. what we get. Is it a Samita or is it, is it an Ardaza? Oh, I 
it's cute. It's a Samita. Oh my god, look at it. Oh my god, it's chub cheeks. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be Sir, Sir Chubbs. No, Sir Cheeky Chubbs. There we go. Cheeky Chubbs. I am bad with names. You want it? Oh my god, he is so cute. Let's see what he looks like when he's an adult. He's got some nice coloring. Oh, he's got the fox ears. Oh my god. Oh, he's cute. Oh, he's adorable. You want that one? All right, let's see here. All right, I have to give it to you later. <laughs> uh, he's a cutie though. Those are some really nice colors. I love the ears though. They're big and floppy. Actually, yeah, we can do this. Do I'll do one more? Damn, that was expensive. All right, got your two imprints. Let's go to the dojo. I can still get one imprint off of him, so. <clears throat> At some point in time, we need to go Kavat Jean Prince hunting. I haven't done that in a while. I mean, I made it to the dojo. I was just gonna send one to you. He's got the fox ears. That's the thing. I rarely see those. Alright, so his imprint. It's gonna be imprint of Sir, Sir Cheeky Chubbs. There you go. You want to give me a maxed one? Are you sure it was that one? I'm going to have to go credit farming. Holy shit. I am, I am below a million. <laughs> oh my god. Index. I have to go to the index. And a scrubber, I will go for it. Not gonna lie, if I had a Roomba, I would make it look like some of these things at the end of this game. Alright, enjoy Sir Cheeky Chubbs. That's a pretty cat. Ah, holy crap. Yeah. 
That's a really nice coloring, though. Let's go and grab that last imprint on him, and then... Oh, wait, we can go get him bit. Wait, that was like the whole entire thing, too. But I need it. No. Wait, okay, so... Do you grab your imprints and then go get them bits, or... How does that work? Hold on. Does that mean that you can technically get six imprints? Or is it all just the one? Okay, so I have to wait until I get that one built, and then I have to go get this one bit. So I have to wait until that print is done, and then I'll go get him bit. You got saved, Sir Cheeky Chubbs. Speaking about Sir Cheeky Chubbs, I wonder how Sir Chubbs is doing. Looks like the new the new cat that we are attempting to persuade to come hang around us. <laughs> He's a hefty boy. <laughs> I'm going to have search up cheeks here. Search up cheeks and search cheeky chubs. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, these guys, though. I need to check them out. I need to do a bunch of, a bunch of testing. All right. Let's take back Mr. Pl uh, Lady Plushy. I'm gonna go do some relic cracking again. Yeah, it was a Neo and Axie, right? Not gonna take collision notes on this. To change up my ash color. Here we're doing Lurkspur. Lurkspur. Apparently, I got another one of those. Okay. If you ever wonder why I only go up to flawless when I'm doing public things, it's because I don't have the greatest luck of getting, like, if you put radiance, I don't have the greatest luck of getting anything good. In case you ever wondered. I know it's, like, supposed to be, like, a, a thing. Math and stuff, but... <laughs>
Cute is going crazy. Cute is going crazy. Room of Shadow Stalker. Where the hell is it? I'm missing a shadow stalker, man. Maybe he's stuck somewhere. younger than me. She might be your age. Yeah, maybe. That's weird. That's really weird. She must have had her when she was. Anyway, she took her stuff. What are we gonna do? Alright. Um, gonna be there for weeks. Gonna be where? The new place? Yeah. Huh? She got back in good graces with her mom? Oh, thank God. I'm glad we could assist in some level, yeah. but. Navigation. No. Look at the schedule, Kitty, and you would know. I'm going to see that your phone has power again.
So are you gonna send messages to me and talk sweet nothings to me whenever we're done with this? Torments me with fucking pink shit. Ugh. Where the fuck am I? Jesus Christ, that, that was not an expectation. Jesus, I thought I had cleared that laser. You want to wait for it to uh, incubate? All right. Take the Orthos Prime Blueprint. You want to have a moment with your cat? That sounds sounds weird. I don't like. I'm going to step away real quick to get a refill of coffee and to use the bath because coffee. <laughs> so be right back.
that humans only get a few years to live. They're spreading the most of that time. Doing everything wrong. Well, then how, Kate? All right. Gotta put the thingies back on. Hold on. I was like, what was I doing? I was relic cracking. That's what we were doing. I'm not getting good drops, but. Oh no, not the Neo. The Neo left. No! Fuck. I don't want to do the reception. Mm. Oh, that's nice and warm. Oh, that's nice and warm. By the way, Apparently, I take extremely hot showers. I don't put cold water at all. And it feels so nice. <laughs> Straight up hot shower. Wow, we're really not going to get another Neo. Okay. interception. Is this map It's not going to be a hard one to get all of the reactants.
seven. Get the other ones here. That reminds me, Stitch, are you still here? Are you in the Discord or is... I don't know if you're in the Discord. Sometimes, sometimes names don't match up like between Discord and Twitch. That's why I'm wondering. You're not. Alright. Can't remember if you got that invite or not. Give me a second. Actually, let me finish this and then I'll send it to you. We still have some time. Actually, I can just do it now. Okay. Not send message. There you go. That way we can coordinate when I'm not, you know, streaming this game or playing at all for that thing for Warframe that we were talking about earlier, the um, isolation vault thingy. Because I was going through my mind and I'm like, how am I going to contact him? <laughs> Could do that too. Finally, So what was that, the barrel? Do I see right now? Gotcha. Give me a second. Oh 
one. Number four is so far away. Okay, I lied. Number four was not that far away. It just looked like it was farther away. Seven. Oh, this one's gonna hurt. Eight. I'm starting to panic a little bit. Nine. That's it. You opened the relic. Finish your mission and we'll take a look inside. Oh, ribbon silver. Or sliver, my bad. Again. Electric kettle to brew water. Okay. Is exciting. I just need the receiver now for a large spur. Oh my god. Right, let me go find you. How do we add people? Through here. Find. Add friend. There we go. It's a success. Your friend request was sent to that name. Okay. I'm hoping to God that was actually you and not some other random person, so... <laughs> a pink poodle unicorn with wings? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Trust me, I'm good. So close. I really like liked the Larkspur when it came out. It's also a really pretty arc gun. Right, so Larkspur receiver, and that is all they have to do left. Oh my fucking god! 
I updated you already. Hold on. Yeah, we can do this part. So I'm currently, in case you're wondering, because you can't really see like what I'm doing over here, it's the tablet. And if you weren't here earlier for that conversation, I don't know where I put it. Previous tablet that I was using for scene switching, battery puffed over the weekend. So I had to switch to the other tablet, the one that Kitty actually sent me years ago. So it is now being used as my scene switcher. Apparently we can replace the battery for like 300 pesos or something like that. Yeah, it's like puffed. Like over two days and went shh. I'm gonna be honest, kitty. I'll tell you after stream <laughs> about that. Hold on. We already had to talk after stream anyway, because apparently you got good news and bad news, so... So, now we need to do... I mean, the laptop that I've got, we had to remove the battery because that was getting puffy. It wasn't one of those that you can remove. It did not have an external, it was all internal battery. So we had to remove that. Thank God the laptop runs just being plugged in. Not all computer things do that. And maybe we won't do that. Maybe we'll just go farm some stuff a little bit. Yeah, it sucks when, when the batteries go pfft. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks so much. Oh my god, the sticky corners. the other thing like I mean even if you do have something that gets you know the puffy battery thing it doesn't make it useless maybe a bit more of an inconvenience because you can't wander around with it but but yeah when I'm not doing a bunch of other things like that sounds really stupid. Um, <coughs> something that does not require like a two screen setup from me. So, <clears throat> so 
So if I'm like doing like some some transcribing or if I'm working on a like even for video editing, I can do it on the laptop. I mean, it can push up DaVinci Resolve no problem. But yeah, like sometimes you don't. Yeah, but yeah, no, that's. Oh my god, I'm being off, off track. Off topic, off track. <sighs> Jesus Christ, words, brain. Anyway, but yeah, that's what I ended up using the laptop for. I mean, it start it we removed the battery like even before I was streaming with the dual PC setup. I mean, it works fine. I've seen a lot of people though that once once something like that goes bad, they are just like, oh no, and they like toss it or they don't want it anymore. And I'm like, that's unfortunate. Yeah, and it sucks. It does. It's fairly unfortunate. <clears throat> you know what I would love to have? I can't figure out where to get them anymore. Because everything has gone to the tablet form. A netbook. That one would have to have a battery to work with, but... <clears throat> If that predates anybody here, netbook is like a tall, small mini laptop. But I think those things fell out of favor for the the tablets that have the plug-in for the little plug-in accessory that has the keyboard in it. Unfortunate, but. Oh god, no. <laughs> no, not that one. <clears throat> I mean, we've got... This one? Hold on. Ah! Come here. Come here. Ah, oh, Jesus. In this one? I think it has one. Yeah. But this one, the battery had to get removed. Mm, I don't think ours do. The last time that I saw one, I think they had it at uh, Sadborns. Get expensive. But the only reason why. Is because I do like the portability. Um, so on Sundays, right? I'm out away from the house for five hours. I mean, I'm having fun reading, but there's other things that I would love to be doing, which would be typing guides and stuff like that. And my laptop doesn't have a battery anymore and it has to be plugged in. So I can't do that. I'm not typing on the cell phone. I'm not typing on a tablet because I don't like the feel. I like having something physical, tangible, something with pushback, feedback, buttons. I've thought about looking at eBay. I've thought about looking at eBay for like a used one, but unfortunately most of them are not in Mexico, and the shipping price is abysmally scary. Like, holy shit. And we do know that they actually ship laptops because kitties, ginormous I mean, I guess they could just take that thing. I don't know if that thing would hold a charge long enough, maybe. It's got Linux on it. I can do that. That thing weighs like a good solid six, seven pounds. <clears throat> anyway, I guess I could try that. Maybe. Um, let's do the defense. 
Not with Hush, though. Let's take Hildren back out for that. I was actually having fun with Hildren. Ah. Oh. And then if you're wondering... Oh. Our Walmart killed people. I'm so proud to say that. It sounds really fucked up. But how many... That's not exactly... It's not proud. What is it? That's not the correct word. Being able to say that our Walmart killed people is a very unique phrase in any kind of conversation, no matter how you try to put it. The reason... Actually, you can find it on YouTube, is that when we had that nasty earthquake back in 2018, you actually have footage on YouTube. You see people running out the back where the trucks, the semi-trucks, do their delivery. Top of the thing. We're coming back from that. Buscar in Walmart. Oh shit, they actually do have some in Walmart. These are kind of big though. They have. Oh, hey, they got. Batteries you can purchase too. That's actually pretty cool. How big is this one? There are your dimensions. I mean, it's classified as a netbook, but if this thing is ginormous, why can't you give me dimensions? Oh. Weighs 790 grams. Is this inches or is this centimeters? Uh, it's centimeters. So it's 31 and a half centimeters by 27. It's kind of a big one, isn't it? By four and a half. Oh, hey, they got inches, inches right next to it. 12.4 inches by 10.6 inches by 1.8 inches. That's an awful big thing. Yeah, I don't like it. I'd rather just get one off of eBay at that point. All right. What rank is my primed vigor? I am not in the right place, hold on. <laughs> oh wait, this is basic children. Wait, 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 wait. It is maxed out.
And there goes Kitty into the pal world. We'll never see her again. The bot is up. I will tell you that. The bot is up. Stitch, do you want to... Do you want me to give you this thing? I, mean, I got this from from forgiveness. I don't know if forgiveness is still here. Did we lose forgiveness? I think we did. Yeah, we did. The Hildjian Prime build? Nah, you're good. You're good. You're probably good. I don't know why I asked. Okay. <laughs> like after realizing what I had asked, I was just like, that was just, that was a thing. It's a stupid thing. All right. Mm. Ooh, excavation spy. We can do spy. Actually, no, we're not going to do defense. I gotcha, I gotcha. I just tried to shoot at a teammate. Don't tell them. I think most of my primed mods are maxed. There might be a few that might be like one or two away from being a fully maxed one. Oh my god, just shut the hell up and just come already. Stalker is mighty talkative. Like, just hurry up, get in here, say some, like, a few words, and then that's it. You don't have to give me a freaking backstory of 
how much you hate my guts and that my family is a horrible, horrible thing. And now, come on, bro. Just... The enemy is at our doorstep. You must defend our foothold until reinforcements arrive. A fisher, defend yourself and use reactions to overthrow us. Squiggle mark. Need the squiggle. I feel like Mega Man with this shit, man. The hand cannon? to the Bronco one. Did my stretches today? I feel like I need to do them again.
It's the little things. Damn, those just went through two eczemas. Nice. I think I like this build. This is good build. I might change something out for it though. Check with it. I don't remember what I have on this thing. Oh yeah, oh, that was beautiful. I have been touched by the void. All right, so What else do I have to do for Nightwave? Because I don't think I'm getting those done. Electricity damage. Bunch of enemies. Mecha mech. Oh. Deploy a specter. Oh, we can do that.
Is that the actual thing? No, it's not. God damn. <laughs> I got excited there for a second. I was like, oh my god, the last Baruch part! Damn it. I had to paint my fingernails again. God damn it. I have to do it after this weekend. Alright, how many void traces do I have saved up now? Okay. Feeling lucky. Let's do. Right, what is it? It's in the heel. Luxe. Should be the receiver. Yep. Let's see if it works. Come on, let's go. Argon Crystal. I should not have gotten that one right now. Thingy.
Alright. I'm doing that silent thing. Alright. <laughs> Nidus? No, not Nidus. Necros. Oh, I have a weird ass dash. Whoa. What the shit? What is that? Wait, do all Warframes have that? Or is it just a Hildrim thing? Wait... That's something I'm just now want. Like, has that always been a thing? I am so confused. Oh, that's her roll. Cause I was like, it's it's not this. Oh, it looks different. That's why I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, I've... that one's a different one. That's why I was like, wait. Alright, that's 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 a fun way. It's about to be like, is there something that I have not tapped into yet? <laughs> like a passive? Yeah, that's why I was like, hmm. Because I also know that that shift shift has some things like limbo. You push shift and then you go into limbo. But that one has like something that you can actually do. So. Why not have this? So. Deathwood Man. Right, so the bow is done again. So I could take Brian Brown's off and stick something else in there. Maybe something around just mod number 10 or less. Oh, God. Hmm. 
I mean, we could put that on, but I'd have to do something else. Could put split chamber on, but I would have to take something else off too. What else do we have for our status chance? Status. Galvanized aptitude. these. Put this on config B. So we're gonna take that off. We're gonna put that on in a second. Um, let's take mm. we'll put that on. I'm just I'm just thinking of stuff right now. Um There was something else I was thinking of. Why do I have two maxed out little limit force things? Right, it's gonna be galvanized aptitude, status chance, summon kill. What else do we have with status chance? Just besides that. Um Okay, let's do Point strike. Let's see if I have a smaller one. I do. Okay. No matter how I do it. What was the other thing? No, 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 no. Um. I was wearing mountains, that's one of the things. Okay. All of the rest of them have been done, so I can't really. Okay, let's do. We'll do that one and then aptitude. Ouch. I don't think I like that. That's that's taking it down pretty bad for me. Critical chance, not so much, but Super 
switch. Give me a second. All right, we could put this on. I mean, this run speed, I don't have to really worry about that, obviously. We can put a little bit more of that puncture damage. Not by much, though. Yeah, I don't think I'm happy with how much that takes it off. I do! I do. Currently debating about this build. I, I I can see it in my head, but I don't think I'm enjoying... Like, I think I'm gonna stick with this one. I'm gonna take that one off, put on the normal serration. I don't think I can... I mean, the status goes from 66 to 72, which, you know, that's that's nice. But there's a charge shot, but I mean, at that point, I'm already over 100%. And I could switch this out with... I don't think I'm thinking of this one right. I think it's something else I am thinking about. We could put this on. We do have talk. No, we don't though. Need CD. But we could put Merciless on. I mean, that head is a precision headshot. Could just do this one, but my Bristolus. I would need some more arcanes to get that thing maxed out. I think I'm going to stick with this one. Because the status, it's, it's not giving me that much more, honestly. I mean, either way, I'm still plowing through enemies like nobody's business, so I don't really need to worry about that, I guess. But I was really thinking about this one of the direct damage per status effect affecting the target for 20 seconds. Like, that one isn't bad, but with ha what I have to exchange for it, it kind of hurts a little bit. I'm not really worried about the crit damage though, honestly. I mean, the quick shot is 50% and the multiplier is the 1.8, but the charge shot, which is what I'm doing most of the time, is 125 with the 2.2. Perfect shot is 150 with the 2.4. I mean, I'm not really worried about that. I know, that's why I'm like... Insta versus Linger. I 
feel like I just need like one more slot. Just one more slot for something. That's how it always feels like. I know that the crit damage multi is low. I mean... I'm not really worried about that though. Yeah, no, it's definitely a crit versus status thing. Because, I mean, the the Rhyme Rounds, the Radiated Reload, those are the ones that are definitely like helping out. And then the Malignant Force, those are helping out with the status chance. But at the same time... What do we have for multipliers? Doing that though. Um, that's a thing. I'm not really worried about reloads though. I mean, the Vigilant things, those would probably help out tremendously. Mm. Got a nice scope. That could actually work. I'm using the radiation for just helping out with stripping shit, so I mean, it could take it off. Yeah, I mean, I could re-roll it. I'm not feeling lucky tonight. RNG in this game is not the greatest for me, so. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, radiation also makes them fight each other, which that is a thing, so. Argon scope is a possibility. You get the increased crit chance when aiming for two seconds, and since it's a one that you charge, which I prefer doing the charge, that could help. This is a tricky one. a tricky one. I think this is going to be something that I just have to play with it, figure out where I want to go with it. <laughs> Alright, just out of sheer curiosity, because I, I do have some Koopa to spare. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's a little bit better, actually. Mega's incapacity is ass, but it doesn't really matter when it comes to a bow. It's not like you have a bunch of bows in the chamber, you know? I mean, not bows. Arrows. God damn it. Jesus Christ. Did I seriously just say that? 
Wow. <laughs> yeah, bows in the chamber. Jesus Christ. Arrows in the chamber. Fuck. I can't believe I said that because I was in archery for years. Oh my god. What the fuck, Chaz? I think that was just dishonor on my whole entire family right there. The only thing that this is going to do is it's going to take down some of that cold damage. But it definitely increases that crit chance. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Ooh. Fuck it. Let's take it. Let's make sure everything else is higher. So the 34% versus 30, 89% crit chance. We didn't have that in the first place. 57% cold versus the 42 Magazine capacity doesn't really matter. Let's do it. Okay, one more. One more, one more. Yeah, I know it's it's math. This game is definitely math. Uh, this one you get rid of the crit chance though. Also, that's adding in something, so I'm not gonna take that one. Stick with this one. Yeah, damage types do change. All right, we'll stick with that. I mean, they could, I mean, yeah. Let's go. Let's go take this one first. By the way, this thing's almost done. All right, let's see if I get lucky with a lark spur receiver. Yeah, the vile would. would. <laughs> yes! <laughs> do I feel lucky? No, I don't, but we're gonna do it anyway. It's the last thing I need for Larkspur. Come on. This is why Chess does not gamble in real life. <laughs> Gambling is bad, don't do it. I've seen so many people they get they get hooked onto it. That's it. Gambling is fine addiction to it. You know what? You're not wrong with that. It's fine if you- yeah? Actually, I do. I have a lens. I have a Brahma. This is my, my latest fave. I reached him. I do have a dread. Um, I have the incarnate on. I think I have not done anything past putting the incarnate on 
on it. I'm falling behind on the Encarnons. <laughs> I mean, I also got the Paris. I had to go get the Paris Prime again to go put the Incarnon on it. There was a point in time when I didn't have the abilities to get weapon slots. So things that I knew I could get easily again, I disposed of. So, I am now going through the phase of recollecting some things. Oh wait, wait, I have to get slight kill still? No, I don't. Colors of their their minions look too much like the things I'm fighting. Okay. What gun is that? This one? No. Is it this one? This one. What does he have? Oh, it is the Exultra. Okay. Like that thing is going quick. Holy shit. Oh god, some activated lasers. Oh man. Purple teammate had a gun that was going brrrr, and I was like, what gun is that? I was thinking it was something else. I didn't think it was the Exultra. Oh, I got it. Oh my god. I got it. Damn it. I want that too. But I got the, I got the receiver. Holy shit. Guess who's going to build the Lurks for Prime finally? Oh man. So that now leaves Wisp Prime, Baruch Prime, Shade Prime, and Corvass Prime. Those are the four that I'm working on. I'm trying to get stuff.
we got? What else we got? What else we got? Thank you, Warframe location things, for telling me that I had to go upstairs to get that. Not off to the side. I actually have a video that I uploaded to YouTube. It's under uh, unlisted. Of, um... One time when Warframe decided to tell me that the exit for... There's something in the void. Same same layout. The exit they said was one way. It was not that way. I spent like a good solid 20-30 minutes trying to figure out where the hell I was supposed to go. Oh, I missed. I did not miss. Did I miss or did I not miss? I don't know. I mean, it still died in the end, but I don't think it was a, like, a straight on impact. I still have to get Gauss Prime. And Grendel Prime and all of the other primes. I have a backlog, I'm still working on it. But hey, Hildjian Prime! a little hard to, to shoot with. I think it's because the animation gets in front of the crosshair that I'm used to not having something right there. A little distracting. <laughs> Somebody's kind of thought he's down. It's a very green kebab. Yet. 
potatoes roll. Indeed they do. I like potatoes. Potatoes are so universal for it. Like, you can make vodka, you can make pancake or potato pancakes, and potato bread. French fries, hash browns, croquettes, a bunch of stuff. They also use like water from potatoes and water your plants if they need it. Right. Equipment. Foundry. Wrong one. Ready to build. I guess I could have just typed this on. Lurk. Maxpe. Yes, I would love to build this. How long does it take? It's like, what, 24 hours, right? 12 hours. All right, so that leaves the four things that I still need to work on before I start my next batch of things to look for. All right, here we go. All right, boys and girls, and everything that's in between. That is it for me this evening. It's been a heck of a night. We got my children built, leveled her up. Thank you guys for the um, the help on getting that done because. I don't play Hildren. I might start playing Hildren because that one's actually pretty fun. Um, also, thanks for the, the bow assist because I was... I'm, I'm liking this one a little bit better actually now with the crit chance. I didn't think it was going to make that much of a difference, but kind of does. Anyway, so yeah, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Um, our Ordis is talking shit to me. Um, tomorrow is going to be Guild Wars 2. The beta test for the alliances is over with, but we do have, what is it, the Lunar New Year, right? That's going on right now, so we might go check those things out. Other than that, you guys have been awesome. I will see you guys on tomorrow. I was about to see you on Tuesday tomorrow for that. And yeah, catch you guys tomorrow. So then take care, stay safe, stay warm, and bye-bye. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.